at the Scottish Magpie here and um, we're off to uh, the Sunday market uh, for a bit sale. Um, it's 7.35, we slept in a little bit but we won't be cross with ourselves. Like I said, what's meant for you won't pass you by. Um, first things first, Starbucks have opened at 6 so we're going to get a latte. So this is the units just um, setting up really, it gets off, it, this is just the walk-in. Hi there, so we're back in the car. Um, I spent I think £30-ish in total. Um, I got a huge, no three, huge big bags full of stuff. It's all kind of wrapped up in this, um, newspaper but I'm so tired and I didn't even probably see um, two thirds of the market. Like this Errol um, car boot sale in Sunday market is huge and is it, it's extending. So there are like bunkers and things I've not even been in. Um, yeah, they're just, this place is massive. I mean it when I say there is no competition here because there's so much to go around. So I've had a brilliant time. I have no idea what I've bought. I can't even remember what I've bought. There's so much, but everything was super cheap. No one, no one was really that dear. So I'm super happy. I will do you a um, thrift haul when I get home. Okay, so we're back home, and I will show you the haul from uh, the Sunday market. So it's Monday today. So one of the better buys that I got was this um, French plate. It is by Beale and it is Etling, France. And there aren't any on line on in the UK. And there are three or four on from around the world. So I think we could get maybe 40, 50 for that. This one is Val Saint Lambert. It is a glass trivet with like a frosted um, and like it's like moulded I suppose uh, roses it does have a small chip there but I think we could still get 25 for that uh, this one is Empoli so this should have a, like a like a lid it's kind of pointed um, but can't leave it there um, I like that I was bundling a load of stuff together again, so I was getting um, really good deals for everything. So um, maybe with the lid, you could probably get fifty, sixty pounds for this um, Italian Apoli, but we will probably get twenty five for that one. This isn't marked, but it is so super heavy, and it has that like frosted glass on the inside. I don't know if you can see, just it's just so heavy, there's just so much, like, it's just solid, I can't really describe it, but it's a lovely piece, there are no chips or cracks, which is a miracle, because of the box it was in, <laughs> so, maybe 20, 25, so I've got so much clear glass, and clear glass is actually really hard to shift, but I can't leave it there. This is just an art glass blown. It's really nice. I like the bottom of it. Um, I love that one. So maybe 15, 20 for that. So I'm going to do, this is all, all from one guy. Yeah, this is all from one guy for 15. So what I'm away to show you now is, um, Trying to think what else I got because do you know what I figured it out? I spent 15 at one guy and it was mostly like stuff for, for work. Then I spent a fiver at one guy, mostly stuff for work, and then I spent like another five six pounds for stuff for the house. And um, I got my son like a nice big shell, I got a few bits of Tupperware just for the kids' lunches, things like that. You just like just normal everyday stuff. So I'm just showing you just what I like spent for work. Um, this is just a vintage 50s 
porcelain horse that's not marked but I have seen um, similar ones online sell for like 15 18 pounds so we are happy with that I'll get 12 to 15 for that that's fine um, I'm trying to think what I got for a fiver and then I'll be able to uh, or that one that one that one yeah and I think the rest are the 15 this is just bizarre it's Irish leprechauns it's not chipped it's well paint chips but it's not the ceramics not chipped it's just paint rubbed and it's marked made in Japan I just thought that was brilliant and I don't know if it's like a toothpick holder or um just like a mini planter I'm not sure but I thought that was fab I love that um this one is a I think this is a master salt it's slightly bigger and it's on a pedestal um it's really nice it's old I'd say Victorian just a second because I have um yeah I have a couple of salt spoons that were in um the kiddies set they're not the George Jensen ones they sold but these are just EPNS they were in that set as well so I could add these two salt spoons to that master salter this is in a really good condition so I was happy with that 15 quid something like that and um okay so I'm just going to try I spent 15 pounds with this. so this is a made in Italy figurine it is signed at the back there but I can't make it out but it's a really nice piece and it's in excellent condition um then I've got to try and remember who this was now Philip Philip Lambertson or something um I'll need to put it up here Philip something or other now he makes these like anthropomorphic creatures so anthropomorphic is a term I've actually only recently started using in certain listings so if you have a little animal or a plant or a flower or something that's been made to look slightly human so with a hat on it or a purse or arms and legs you can put anthropomorphic in the listing so we got these two little um worms and we should get maybe 10 15 for them oh, i forgot again who this bunny was by it's unmarked but um i figured out who it was from so i'm gonna put that name up here and they do lots of um like little miniature animals so these are quite collectible and um, it's an american brand i can't remember i'll put it up here look out for like little unusual creatures with this one with that brand because they can bring money and then i think the last thing i got from that guy for 15 was just this controlled bubble art glass uh candle holder tea light holder i don't think it's murano but it is a nice nicer one because it's got such a good weight um so i like that i might wait with that one until i have another couple of things that complement it and then put them on together because i don't think that'll bring a huge amount on its own maybe eight pound ten pounds something like that so that was a huge amount for 15 pounds we've got our money back in just a couple of things okay so the next thing for a fiver was this it was the same guy I went to last week and I got all the horn spoons. So there was another horn spoon that I grabbed. I'll probably wait until I find another few horn spoons to add to that because I've already put the other four online. This is a little ashtray. Yeah, it's lovely, like crystal cut. And this is the little cigarette holder thing and it's on a hinge and it moves. So it's quite cute. I have bought another few ashtrays from the other... Um, no, from that guy. Yeah, so I might. I was thinking of putting all the ashtrays in together. Um, this is Rosenthal Bavaria. Hand painted. It's actually got a design around the edge, but it's quite a, quite dirty, so it does need cleaned. Maybe 12, 15 for that. One of the best items of the day. 
was this French faience, 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 I can't pronounce it, um, and it's armorial wear because it has the coat of arms. So anything with a coat of arms on it, you put armorial in the description because people just collect armorial things. Um, and this is called a nappy, a nappy cup, and nappy cups are usually quite flat at the bottom. And you can get bigger ones. Nappy cups are usually a bit bigger and made of glass or uh, cut crystal. So um, you do get porcelain antique uh, ceramic ones. And this is a French one. So this is quite a rare piece. It's for SZ Village or SA Village. I'm not sure how you would pronounce that. Sorry, I'm picturing it. So I think there is a slight a hairline. You can just, just about see it. It's just coming down there, it's very, very faint. But it's not chipped or cracked around the edges, it's just got a very, very faint hairline. We did the plate. Oh, this is fun. I don't have anything for it yet, but it's um, it's like a Lazy Susan, but it's a stand. So we could put some, find something good, or a collector would really like to buy this if they have a piece that they really want to show off and turn it around. So I think we could get 20 for this on its own. Um, but if I come across something that's just awesome and needs displayed well, we'll do that. These two, um, I was going to put on with the other ash. <laughs> They're mid-century, um, like 60s, um, alabaster Italian ashtrays. And that one is probably onyx. I don't think that's an ash tree because it's not got the groove, so that might just be a trinket dish, but I was just going to stick them on together. And I asked the guy how much that was, and he said £3. I went, no, I insist you take a fiver. And he went, well, go and pick something else there. It was so nice. So I was like, okay, I'll go pick something else. So the last thing I picked was just this. I was looking at it, and I put it back because I was like, it's not marked. It's just luster wear. It's like a a flower posy vase um but i thought it was funky and do you know what they are selling for like 18 odd quid so and a few have sold so that was fine so that was all sunday's job lot and then on the saturday we went out for a family day in perth and if you are ever up north um or if in you're in scotland and you're and you're traveling around perth is such a good place for charity shops um now it was a family day, so I wasn't allowed to go in every charity shop. I was allowed in a couple. Um, so in one charity shop I found um, Raku pottery. So we have a giraffe and we have an elephant. The elephant's marked um, South Africa and like a, a maker's mark. So you know Raku because of obviously the crackle glaze. It's called Raku because of the way it was fired in the kiln, I believe. They're usually dark clay that they use. So there's no more of the giraffe online, but four, three or four have sold in the last three months for 35 to 45. Um, and that's maybe like 15, 20 pounds worth. So I've put the two of them on together. And then the last thing I got from Perth was Gaduna, something like, I'll put it up here again, it's a little bronze um, like Indian figure, it's very heavy, it's nicely done, it's got a nice bit of age, and this is patinaed up again after a polish, there's polish being embedded in here, it's really old polish, and then it's patinaed up again. So I think this is quite old, maybe early 20th century, something like that. So we did well. And then today I've been to a charity shop. I'm going to save that for another video because I have so much to get listed. I have to, I have to keep it in line. You know, I've got to get this stuff on before I show you the new stuff and then put that on. But I'll be going thrifting again anyway. So I'll show you that stuff that I bought today and then the new stuff. So. But I got a really nice, you know, nice things. I'll show you soon. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And thank you everyone for subbing and commenting. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, bye.